So this week's edition of the Women's News, I am sadly alone because between two firms, as you can see, is in the singular. Mabali Malloy is off sick. So I must be Sia Karras, and this is the Women's News. Big news on Sunday, Hillary Clinton basically declared herself in the running for presidency. I am actually quite excited. I think she stands a really good chance of being uh, the first female president of the United States. But I do think it will be an interesting run because apparently throwing his hat into the Republican uh, sphere is Jeb Bush. So it will be a Bush versus Clinton moment. And it feels like history is repeating itself again. Uh, the other big news on the politics front was that Helen Ziller basically stepped down. The Twitter sphere lit up with delight when they read it. A lot of people were saying, well done, Helen Ziller. That shows great political leadership because um, you were starting to behave a little strangely and were becoming a bit of a liability for your party. Um, I think that it will be interesting to see who steps in to fill her very big shoes because she certainly had a great run of it and grew the DA from quite a marginal party to a major player. Um, another very interesting thing that happened this week, which was incredibly sad and tragic, was that the girls behind the Bring Back Our Girls campaign have been lost for a year and they are still lost in Nigeria, um, abducted by Boko Haram. And sadly, that campaign doesn't appear to have done anything to return the girls to their parents and to restore them to their normal lives. So it makes me wonder whether hashtag campaigns have any kind of impact at all. And that was the very sad end to the women's news.